Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're going to look at the Bumble B deck designed in collaboration between Oban Jones and Daniel Madison. What is this? Uh, basically, it's a deck inspired by bumblebees and uh, bringing awareness to bumblebee preservation. It's such a wonderful deck for card aficionados and collectors. The deck looks exactly like a vintage design deck from the 1800s. 10% of all bumblebee decks' profits will be donated to honeybees everywhere. The front of the tuck case says finest quality Bumble Bee, local and naturally sweet playing cards. Bees make the whole world sweet. Oban Jones said he designed this deck to appear like a jolly old beekeeper fashioned his own deck of cards. And so what you have here is a, a little hut in the background that has lazy smoke drifting out the smokestack. And then down here in the front you have some beehives and then outpouring out of that you have a bunch of bees. This side says naturally smooth. If you flip it over and turn it around, it says, what a buzz. The bottom has some ad copy about illusionist.com. And the top has some vintage design work and a bumblebee. The back design, of course, is the back design of the cards. And the tuck flap says bees are beautiful and it has some symbols right there. The top two flaps have little depictions of yellow honeycombs. And that is pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. These cards are printed from the United States Playing Card Company and they do come on their retail stock. They do have a modern cut and air cushion embossing. And if you'd like to learn more about stock, cut, or finish, you can click the link below on the description. All right, so how does the stock feel? Everybody wants to know how do these cards feel. Let me just say, these are incredibly thin cards. Lately, Illusionist has been making very soft, very pliable, very bendable cards. I would argue that the last four decks that I have reviewed from Oban Jones, uh, whether they be the Keepers or Roadhouse or the Bumblebees or the Killer Bees, they all have the same exact thin uh, compression. So uh, they are asking the United States Playing Card Company to squeeze down to their tightest, um, flattest ability, and they are making incredibly thin cards. So these do measure at incredibly thin. So if you like thin cards, you like cards that are buttery soft, you like cards that come out of the box and they feel like they're already broken in, these are your babies. Or should I say bees. Did you know that a third of the plants you eat have been pollinated by bees? It's true, and that's what this joker tells you. Did you know that the dwindling honeybee is vital as a pollinator? It's true, and that is what this joker tells you. The back design is very soft, very friendly, it has a classical look, and it does have micro-thin borders. There is just a hint of color there in the center with the bumblebees, and I guess it's done in kind of like a honey yellow. Uh, and a lot of the work around the edges uh, just looks like flora and fauna, and it helps to keep that classical uh, vintage design. With this deck, you're gonna get two extra cards. One of them is entitled Beemageddon, kind of play on words uh, for Armageddon, and it's about what would happen if the bees suddenly were to vanish off the face of the earth. The second card is a quote from Albert Einstein about bees. The pips and indices on these cards are all very chunky. They have chunky pips, and uh, very interesting uh, outlined uh, indices in the corner. So again, Oban was trying to make this look like a vintage deck, something that would have come out a long time ago, but would seamlessly fit into your collection. Your beautiful honeybee ace of spades is uh, graphically large. It has a design that pushes almost all the way to the borders. In the center there of that large center pip is a honeybee yellow beehive. And then you have one enlarged bee kind of floating out. All the court cards also have a very classic look. And interestingly enough, there uh, is a bumblebee hidden inside of every court. Well, that is it for the bumblebee deck from illusionist Oban Jones and Daniel Madison. 
And if you'd like to purchase this deck, you can find it for sale at illusionist.com. As always, we recommend that you like this video just so other people can find it faster. We also recommend that you subscribe to this channel just to stay up to date on the latest in cards and card magic. Now, if you want to follow me on social media, please do. I'm at facebook.com slash magic orthodoxy, twitter.com slash magic orthodoxy, instagram.com slash magic underscore orthodoxy. And if you need more content, you can find it at magic orthodoxy.com. Thanks. Bye.